<laughs> Alright. Uh, we are doing our second session. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I left off because I did not immediately start recording this. So, last thing I did, I believe, was I got the fap ring, and then now I think what I'm going to try to do is maybe go down to the basement and look for the uh, large ember or coal or whatever it is that you need to give Andre. And then I'm going to go try and beat up the old hag down below. So yeah, I'm pretty sure like this is the way that I like ideally would like to go to get down to the basement, right? It would be coming through here. You serious? I don't remember. Even if it's not, it's probably worth coming down here. Airsoft, but one of my friends got like a way nicer airsoft gun than the rest of us and so we were all scared to not be on his team because his hurt um a lot more than ours did like his his would like make you bleed and ours were like just even like little welts we had like spring pistols and stuff like that and he was like the first one that got like a gas rifle and stuff like that and he just ruined our lives with it but yeah he had he had this like really long rifle that was gas powered and we were all really scared of him because like he would shoot you with it and like even if he had layers on it really really hurt especially as uh, a little pussy kid and so we always wanted to be on his team but we weren't allowed to all be on his team otherwise we didn't have team set up well and then eventually some of us got like better uh airsoft guns and things like that like one of my buddies got like a electric AK auto like full auto one and he shot me in the hand on accident because we were like way too close to each other we probably shouldn't have been shooting at each other at like five feet close or whatever and it like I left scars on my hand because the BBs like ripped open my hand it was super tight I remember when I was younger, I, uh, the first time I played this, this, yep, yeah, I was going to say, uh, I got knocked off the edge when I was younger, and then this area, like, scared the crap out of me. It was really spooky. Um, funny enough, too, when we all ended up getting better airsoft guns, my mom, uh, like to play with my airsoft gun and so one time I was I was like skateboarding out in the front yard in the street and my mom was sitting up on the porch and she just shot me right in the ass when I wasn't expecting it and it made me cry I was just vibing with my boys with some of my friends outside and my mom shot me in the ass with an airsoft gun and it made my ass bleed and I cried and then I was super embarrassed because I was crying in front of my friends because I got shot in the ass and then my mom thought it was hilarious she was sitting on the porch freaking like laughing so hard she was like wheezing and crying I don't even know if it's worth going and getting my souls honestly it was only like a few thousand, so I just wanted to. F oh, you know what? Before I ran down here, I should have literally used the the, the soul that I just got. Uh, the firekeeper soul. Damn it! But I was so caught up in my story. Yeah, like Blight Town used to scare me. It still does, honestly. Um, these guys used to freak me out. I don't know why. They just like made me really uneasy. But I do remember though, like airsofting was a pretty big 
thing for like me and my uh, friends and even like my dad was like super involved in airsofting and that kind of stuff with us kids. Like, he bought his own airsoft gun pretty recently and my brother um, also got himself a new airsoft gun. His was a little older but his is probably the nicest airsoft gun out of any of us like kids or uh, like family and stuff because he actually took it seriously and got like a like a full kit and everything like that and would go to like the airsofting events and stuff like all that. Got a box it. I'll take the hits at this point, but I would like to be able to heal. Because I'm pretty sure... That shadow mis misguided me. Um. Oh my god, these dogs, brother. I was trying to, like, juke them, get up the corner, but I don't know where everything's at down here. Um. Yeah. But now I can uh, upgrade my SS flask. I'll let them do their fire like that so that way I have the opportunity to get past them. And then now I can die. And I'll go turn that in and then we'll actually come back down. Nice. Can I wear more armor? without fat rolling now. Look at that. Yeah, I can. Forgot to pull the lever. This game intrigues me like the, the remaster does because the textures on some of the stuff like actually look really, really good to me. But then like the actual like uh like geometry of stuff is still really um you can you can tell when it was made, you know? You get up close with like a black knight or something like that and you look at like the armor and like the engraving on it and like all that kind of stuff and it looks really good and then you like look at like the world that it's in and it almost feels like it doesn't fit. It's kind of like, at least that's like my opinion of it, is it just kind of seems like it's a little bit, like the, the character detail definitely seems like it's greater than the like world detail in the sense of like how it fits, I guess. Not that the world itself isn't good, like, it's very intricate, and it looks cool, and it's it's solid, but it just, I don't know. The, the character models definitely, for some stuff, look better than the world as a whole. Because, like, the textures on, like, this wood looks pretty okay, but then you look at, like, the wall right there. And you're like, what the hell? At least that's kind of like my professional opinion, you know. I was trying to not get poisoned, but since I am, I'll just roll with it. I don't think I have the means to stop uh, poison currently, so. We're just gonna run straight in here. You know, I always wondered what would happen if you just, like, popped her out of there. Like, where does the the human stop? Alright, so damage-wise... I'm gonna need to adjust. Because I'm standing in lava right now. God damn it! I wasted that. I just need her to not be like chilling inside of the uh, her her lava for me. Cause this way I can actually get up on. Oh shit! I'm dead. 
like you can tell that they're they're more simple especially like they, they turn slower they they have more telegraph attacks like the way it all moves is just it's easier like especially if you come from a different souls game like uh, like say you say you come from Dark Souls 3 for instance like it's it's a very different experience with how the bosses like operate and try to punish you for stuff like in this game they, they don't really punish you for a lot they have kind of like the set telegraph of like the way that they operate and then they kind of stay within it Quilog used to make me very nervous though like the first couple of times that I played the game um, like she was always really annoying to me especially because like I would always be really nervous about coming all the way down here like doing that that run from uh, Firelink all the way down here and then like dying to her like over and over again would really piss me off. <laughs> Try to kick her, but it would like yeah, it would make me really mad trying to run all the way down. So I was not good at it and I have like a good grasp of like rolling to dodge stuff or anything like that. So I would come down here and I would get like killed after spending like actual attempts of of dying just to get here and then respawn all the way back up there and then I'd be pissed off because I spawned all the way back up there. It's nice of them to give you a homeward bone. I don't think going all the way down here is going to, like, do me anything right now. I do know that it's, like, kind of a big boo-boo to uh, sit down down here because you have to run all the way back up <laughs> if you do. But I'm trying to think. I could go run out really quick and kill Ceaseless, but I only have one flask, and then if I die, you know, like, I have to run all the way back down here without dying to get my souls back and all that stuff, so. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't really foresee much of a situation with this boss where it's, like, in genuine danger, for the most part. I don't really foresee genuine danger. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I did not think that that was gonna happen. Twenty K souls down the drain, baby. Let's go. How's your rat? You have some. You're gonna give me souls because I lost all of mine, you son of a bitch. What does he give me? A thousand. I'd kill you too, but that's fine. <laughs> 